Dog Soldiers Closed Captioning is brought to you by Caldwell Shooting Supplies, Precision Shooting Supplies and Accessories. This week on Dog Soldier. Hey everybody, I'm Steve Kreiner, the Dog Soldier, and this week, we're starting a two-part series. We're in Wyoming, we're in the mountains, we got coyotes up to our ears. I got a new cameraman, JJ, going with me. He's an old Missouri boy just like me, so it's going to take a little bit of time for him to adjust to the elevation. He's going to soak up the scenery, but most of all, we're going to see a lot of coyote hunting action in the next two weeks. Don't go nowhere, Dog Soldier starts now. A soldier, a thing that prays, unaided and alone, surviving in a hostile environment where only the strong survive. You must master or be mastered. Provide, protect, manage. For there are no packs between coyotes and men. He's the dog soldier. Powered by Flexstone Game Calls. So I get JJ picked up to the airport and it's time to start hunting. We're at a ranch down south about an hour from the house, which is actually like driving to the post office. I mean, I live out in the middle of nowhere. We got a hot lead on some coyotes. We got good weather. The wind's gonna play with us a little bit, but we get up and set up on a setup that I actually think is the best setup in the world. And I make a mistake. But I will tell you right now, binoculars will get you in trouble. I'm glassing, and the whole time I'm glassing, I'm actually thinking, you know what? I don't know the farm right. I don't know this ranch. I don't know where there's cuts. I don't know where there's ditches. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get screwed here. I'm gonna get backdoored. But I pick up my binoculars, I'm glassing, and I do it anyway, and I'll be damned. Jake, coyote, 10 o'clock, running away. <laughs> You know what, I shake it off. I make that mistake about once every year and it really soaks in and I get to hunt a lot of coyotes. I get to see a lot of country. I get to see a lot of scenery and one of the biggest mistakes I make is trying to pick up them binoculars and glass for coyotes while I'm on a stand and I made it. So I'm just gonna blow it off. I'm gonna grab that Model 70 and I'm gonna head to the next stand. The coyotes are howling. I got the wind right. One makes a mistake and answers me. We walked about another half mile from the last stand. Now, I'll tell you this real quick. These coyotes are close. We had a coyote come in the first stand, probably didn't get footage of it, so you all probably won't even see any of it. This is the second stand of the episode. We got four miles to walk out today. I'd like to do 50 episodes this week. But realistically, we're in Wyoming. The coyote hunt's actually tough. We're in elevation, we're at about 6,000 feet. And uh, we're just gonna do the best we can do. It's gonna be a freaking awesome episode. Anyway, I'm gonna play my music now.
I'm gonna go ahead, I'm playing a rabbit sound, I'm gonna give it something I know it can handle, and that's when I usually go to them puppy whines. Not a puppy in distress, but a puppy whine. Just like a little puppy wanting some milk. It's, al it's almost so easy you feel sorry for them sometimes. Now that Flextone 500, I will tell you right now, makes it easy. The folder system on that electronic game call, I can navigate through them sounds, I can use them how I need to, with a few pushes of the button and a few little tricks up my sleeve, here we go. Everybody wants to know why we're still quiet, why we whisper after the kill, why well, I tell you why. There's more coyotes in here. I'm gonna come back probably tomorrow or the next day and make all these stands over again. This is big country and these coyotes move. What a first segment of the episode. Boom. I'm gonna go get this coyote, man. This is gonna be a pretty extreme episode. We're gonna walk everything. little female, Jiminy Christmas. She got nice teeth on her, look at this coyote. Beautiful, beautiful coyote. Guys, I ain't gonna spend a lot of time here. I just, uh, I want you to really pay attention to what I did on that stand. That's me and JJ's first coyote hunt together. He's not a coyote caller. So a lot of times these camera guys, they'll pick up things after hanging out with me for a season turn on into really good coyote hunters. Well, you guys can do the same. This coyote, this bitch coyote right here, is a two or three year old female by the look at her teeth. I mean, she's, it's a big coyote. Um, man, we played that cottontail sound. I knew I was on coyote, so I didn't howl right when I sat down. I just played a cottontail sound. And then when I went to that hunt and wine sound, it's on the downloaded side of your remote and uh, she answered back kind of aggressive. And then uh, I went to like a submissive, a little bit of pup yipping type sound on the uh, FLX 500. And then I went to my favorite puppy whine. What I did when I found out she was aggressive, I immediately went to something she could handle. A lot of people won't pick up on that. Instead of challenging her back or doing all this other stuff, I immediately went to something she could handle. And right here, I'm telling you what, when the water's hot, you can fry chicken. Hang with us. This is Dog Soldier on the Sportsman Channel. It don't get no better than this. This is fun stuff. We're at 6,000 feet in Wyoming, haired up coyotes. It's on. Wyoming is very, very famous amongst us coyote hunters that's been around. You gotta make a lot of stands. You gotta walk a long ways. And about noon, we're both pooped out. We're gonna go to the truck and get us some lunch. We're gonna jump on that four-wheeler and grab that coyote. And we're gonna head to their evening hunt. Bam! Another one loaded up. I'm feeling it now. Let's go kill some more. We, we learned a few lessons. We learned about Wyoming. I'm learning every day. And we kill a few coyotes and we're starting to get them figured out. Next week is gonna be just as epic. This is gonna be a two-part series that you won't wanna forget. Everybody can't get enough of the scenery and the mountains of Wyoming. Once again, listen, keep your chin up, move forward, stay fearless, never apologize to anyone, and thank a veteran because without veterans, we wouldn't be able to do what we do. Once again, I'm Steve Kreiner, the Dog Soldier. Peace out, homies. Catch you next week. Do you want to know more about the Dog Soldier? Join him live during show premieres on Facebook to join in the hunt or share your adventures.